So we're here at Cromwell Lock. We managed to get the last mooring on the pontoon in the heat of the day. Sting's gone out of the day now. It's a lot cooler. It's about eight in the evening. There's a nice cool breeze. So I thought I'd come out and have a look around the lock, see uh, how the land lies. So we're coming through at eight o'clock-ish in the morning. Uh, we've got 14 miles of tidal river to cruise to Torxy Lock. So we'll be starting as the river tide's coming in to high tide and then after an hour or so of cruising we'll be going out on the uh, outgoing tide. So we'll pick up a bit of speed with a bit of luck. Hopefully we'll get to Torxy Lock before the tide goes out completely. But it's a massive place. The weir is the biggest weir on the uh, River Trent. And sadly in 1975, 10 members, volunteers of 131 Parachute Regiment lost their lives on the weir when their boat careered over the top. Due to a power cut, the lights had gone out on the weir and they lost their direction, which is really sad. And there's a memorial commemorating it just over there. But it's a really interesting place, so I thought I'd come have a look and get the drone up. And I haven't had the drone up for God knows how long. So uh, here goes. Let's have a look from up there. Two thirds in on our 14 mile tidal trip journey. Are you enjoying it, Fran? I'm enjoying it actually, it's quite interesting. I think, you know, doing it once is enough, you can get a bit fed up if you have to do it all the time. Um, there's certainly enough to keep your wits about you, as the sand banks and. You have to concentrate, don't you? You've yeah. got the, the guidebook to show you the route you must take to avoid sunken islands and sandbanks, etc. But it's pretty straightforward, we're in high tide now, so I think it's just common sense really, isn't it? Avoid the inside of bends and uh, go with the flow. The first part was a little bit slow because we were going against the incoming tide, um, so we're going a little bit slow. The tide has turned now, so we've really speeded up the whole way to this last little bit. Yeah, so just a uh, I think it's about three miles left to do now, isn't it? Something like that. And uh, we'll be going through Torxy Lock.
just arrived and these guys have opened Francis. <laughs> I'm, I'm known for cold showers in the rain, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> quite liking it. The boat is moored just down here, down a steep bank but there are stairs going down to it and because this high path runs all the way along the canal it just gives you a huge feeling of space and openness, big skies, big views and this apparently goes like this nearly all the way. There's a dike down that side of the bank and the canal down that side of the bank and we've just got space and fields and views and it's lovely. We made it along the River Trent, along the tidal Trent, and uh, Trent, 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 Trent. <laughs> right, I'm going to start. So we're here at Torxy Lock, and we made it along the tidal section of the River Trent um, in one piece. No events, everything runs smoothly. We just followed our friends, and uh, it was easy peasy, wasn't it? The map that we bought was really useful because it does show you where all the sandbanks are that you just cannot see and the bits that you have to zigzag a little bit across the river um, and it was just a doddle wasn't it? It was it's a doddle, lovely. Yeah, no problems. And w when we've arrived here if only we had known there's moorings all along before you get into the lock you can only get into the lock when the tide is high because there's a sill and you can't get over it on low tide but we didn't know that there's all these really quiet moorings here if only and, uh, we'd known we'd it would have stayed just, here before going through for yeah, three days wouldn't we would have just taken the pressure off so anybody that's coming in don't worry just get here yeah yeah <laughs> so uh the Fosdyke canal was built by the romans have we said this no no <laughs> <laughs> built by the romans apparently all those years ago so it makes it the oldest still navigable canal in the country and they're not Absolutely absolutely amazing. sure whether it was built for navigation or just for drainage because obviously this was all marshy flooded ground um, so I don't think anybody is absolutely sure but certainly by um, 1066 it was um, it was a port at Lincoln so it was being uh, used then so it's very exciting yes yeah, so uh, we're gonna shoot all the way down to Boston we're not going to do any filming until we get to Boston and then we're going to film everything on the way back. There's a real big heat wave predicted for next week. Yeah, it probably won't me. happen, but they're saying yeah. 35 or 37 degrees, I Centigrade, think. Centigrade, that is, yeah. Um, and we really don't want to be sitting in Lincoln, which would be our next stop now. So we thought we'd go to the end, find some cool sea breezes and then film on the way back. That's right, isn't it? That's right. That's what we're <laughs> going to do. That's the plan anyway. You know what our plans are like. You never get stuck to, do they? <laughs> we only decided this about 10 minutes ago, by the way. Up until then, we were going to go to Lincoln and film there in the heat wave. But no, it's not happening. <laughs> right, come on. Let's get these dogs walked and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers now. Bye. Bye. <laughs>